30 years ago, on 15 February 1991, the presidents of Poland and the Czech Republic and the Prime Minister of Hungary signed the declaration of cooperation between Czech and Slovak Federal Republic, the Republic of Poland and the Republic of Hungary in striving for European integration in the castle of Visegrad, Hungary. The declaration provided political framework for extensive cooperation between Poland, Czechoslovakia and Hungary and brought closer the societies of three and later four countries. The original aim of cooperation was striving for the full recovery of state independence, democracy and liberty, rule of law, respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms, establishment of free market economy, comprehensive protections and participation in the European political and economic system. The accession of our countries to the Northern Atlantic Treaty Organization and later joining the European Union symbolically closed this first stage and opened new perspective for the Visegrad cooperation. However, the V4 is not only about political cooperation. One of the emblematic institutions of our cooperation is the International Visegrad Fund, which, since its establishment in 2000, has granted nearly 2,400 scholarships and supported almost 6,000 projects by NGO, local governments, scientists and artists, mainly across our four countries, but also in Eastern Partnership and Western Balkan State. We are pleased that the Visegrad Group's anniversary coincided with the Poland's presidency of the group from July 2020 until June 2021. that we have achieved with our Polish, Slovak and Czech friends over the past three decades. 30 years ago today, leaders of our countries gathered in Visegrad, Hungary and launched their close cooperation on the basis of mutual respect, interests and objectives. This Central European cooperation has a symbolic reference to a similar alliance that took place in Visegrad in 1335 among the kings of our countries. Over the last three decades, the Visegrad Group has not only proven to be a success story in political, economic and cultural cooperation, but it has also become a trademark. 30 years ago, we joined forces to support each other in our accession to NATO and the European Union. Today, the Visegrad 4, or shortly the V4, represents a dynamic and competitive region in Europe. The V4 countries together as a region would be the fifth largest economy in Europe and the 12th globally. The V4 countries have been ranked among the fastest growing European economies. The V4 is a global hub for key industries such as the automotive industry. Beyond cooperating with each other, the V4 has also reached out to assist and support other countries, in particular in the Western Balkans and the Eastern European Partnership. In these efforts, the V4 cooperates with a wide range of countries, including Canada. Through the Visegrad Fund, the V4 has pro provided meaningful support to these regions. Looking ahead to the future, and as we plan to build back better in the aftermath of the pandemic, the V4 will be an important and dynamic actor in Europe with a strong focus on sustainable development and economic growth. Hungary will take over the presidency of the V4 from Poland this summer and we will look forward to further advancing our cooperation with Canada. I'm joining my colleagues, ambassadors of the Czech Republic, Hungary and Poland in Arva in commemorating 30 years of the Visegrad cooperation. Looking back, I see the return of our countries to Europe after 1989 as our most important achievement. We supported each other in fulfilling our dream and strategic goal of our European and transatlantic integration. And thus, we also became allies and close partners of Canada. Today, Slovakia wishes to see the Visegrad Group 
is a constructive and reliable platform in finding solutions for our region and the ever stronger European Union and NATO. Going through the world pandemic crisis, we understand the value of our good neighbourly relations. As part of the EU, we continue to work on a wide array of projects from infrastructure, energy, security to innovation and healthcare. And we are open to strengthening ties also with Canada, especially in trade and business. What will help us all get back on the track and recover better? Poland, Hungary, Slovakia and the Czech Republic share deep historic ties. It was no coincidence that 30 years ago the Visegrad group was founded in the town of Visegrad in Hungary. This is where kings of Poland, Hungary and Bohemia held a summit in 1335. After the fall of communism, our four nations called for their return to the West. Presidents Lech Walesa, Josef Antal and Václav Havel created the V4 platform to help with this goal and to strengthen friendly relations between our countries and peoples. Today, we celebrate the remarkable success that was achieved in pursuing these goals. I would like to thank my dear colleagues, Ambassadors Andrzej Kurnicki, Maria Vassalazar and Diet Koziak for their support and friendship. I have greatly enjoyed working with them on projects strengthening our ties with Canada in all areas, including foreign policy, business and culture. Finally, I would like to thank Andrzej, who currently presides over our group in Canada, for his kind invitation to join this celebration today and for his most kind gift, the beautiful work of Polish bakers in Ottawa. I cannot wait to explore it deeper. Happy birthday to Wyszegrad Group, Stola dla Grupy Wyszegradzkiej. Happy birthday, Wyszegrad Corporation. Boldog születésnapot, Wyszegradi együttműködés. Let me wish the Wyszegrad Four happy birthday. Wszystko najlepsze na rodzinę. And now, the cake. Happy birthday, our V4 group. Vše nejlepší, naše V4.